All right, my turn. I've been wondering what that was all night. Hopefully, this will make up for the last birthday we spent together. Unless you ran her dog over, I'm guessing it might. Oh, my God. That's real, too. Vince, you are crazy. I can't believe that you did this. Well, the second I saw it, I knew you had to have it. How did you remember that I loved Niche? I remember everything about you, and uh, it's Niche. That's mine. It's Niche. You guys, I, I just, I really want to thank you so much for being a part of tonight. I really forgot what a family you guys are. I'm just very happy. Family. <laughs> to me. <laughs> Many events. Cheers. Cheers. Well, how about you and Sloan come with us? To Paris? Yeah. You guys are getting pretty serious, right? I don't know. You know, maybe. <laughs> what if this is it for both of us? I think it's a little early for that. For both of us. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. Thanks. Think about Paris. What's up, baby? Hey. Mm, where were you? I was just shopping with my mom. Yeah? Hey, E. Hey. How's Sloan? She's great. Tell her I said hi, OK? Yeah, definitely. Bye. I mean, she's lied right to his face. Eric, Mandy dated Chris for three years. That's a long history. I mean, maybe they were just talking and she didn't tell Vince because she didn't want to hurt his feelings. You don't know the whole story. I know what I saw. What did you see? The way they were walking. What do you mean the way they were walking? Just their whole body language. Stop looking at me like that. I'm telling you. Telling me what? You have some unique skill I don't know about? Maybe. Hmm. What does my body language say? That we might not be making it out to lunch today? Eric, listen to me. My best friend in high school, when I told her that I thought her boyfriend was cheating on her, she never spoke to me again. Was he? Mm-hmm. Didn't matter. Mm. Still, I gotta tell him, though. I mean, it sucks getting cheated on. Yeah, it does. So let's agree we'll never do that to each other. If we ever get serious. Oh, OK. If we ever get serious. Did I totally <laughs> just freak you out? No, of course not. <laughs> I want to get serious. Come here. Hold on a second. That's no, Ari. This could be important. Hello? Hey, e, let me ask you something. You still seeing Sloan? Yeah. Why? She ever say anything to you about me? About you? Why would she say something about you? I don't mean it like that. I mean work-wise. No. Come on, e, you're my friend. You tell me if she did, right? All right, I'm at Sloan's right now. You want me to ask her something? You're with her now? Why the fuck didn't you say so? I don't want you asking her anything. I don't want you to say anything about this. Forget we had this conversation. Does she already know we're having this conversation? All right, what's going on? Nothing, nothing. It's all good. I'll call you back. What's going on? I think Ari and your father are having problems. Eric, you know you guys are going to make up. Vince can't last five minutes without you. It's not even about that. I'm almost 30 years old. You're not even 29. Three weeks. And I'm an idiot for putting myself in this position. I mean, I'm pissed at Vince, but I'm more pissed at myself because it's nuts to tie yourself to one guy, especially a guy you can't count on. Eric, you could have never predicted this happening. Eighth grade, he bailed on the great adventure trip to make ceramic frogs with Jen Nadish. I mean, the handwriting was on the wall. He's your best friend. And that's a classic example of why you shouldn't do business with your friends. So what are you going to do? I have no clue. No, Ari's right. I'm so fucked. You are not so fucked. Eric, what I think you should do is think about finding a real job in this business. One with some stability. Sloan, I'm a college dropout. All right, guys in the mailroom out here have Warden MBAs. You have experience. Not that anyone knows about. I know some people who know about it. Maybe I can help. <laughs> 